It's time for the weekly Cole Caulfield update. I was thinking, do I really want to make this video because Cole Caulfield didn't actually do too well compared to what we're used to this weekend in the NCAA for the Wisconsin Badgers, but I then realized that there is indeed a story coming out of this weekend, and despite the fact that Caulfield didn't get two goals a game like we saw him do previously, there's literally like a week-long break between now and when Caulfield is going to be able to play again. So let's just get this out of the way and establish the fact that Cole Caulfield now has competition for the best goal scorer in the NCAA. But first, before we go over that, let's go over what exactly the Badgers did this weekend. And it wasn't really all too great. Now... The Badgers are a team that honestly were pretty solid and they were pretty good throughout the most previous weekends of NCAA play. However, this past weekend, they actually dropped two straight decisions to Penn State University, once on Thursday on Halloween and once on Friday on November 1st. So each of these games both were not necessarily the results that the Badgers would have liked and they weren't able to bounce back. Now, last weekend against Clarkson on the 25th, they lost 4 to nothing, and then they won the next day on Saturday with a nice 4 to 3 victory. That did not happen here. The first game against Penn State on Halloween, they lost 6 to 1, and the second game the next day, they lost 4 to 2. So, the Badgers weren't necessarily on their A game, they did allow too many goals. The first goal, though, was pretty good. It was scored on the power play. Caulfield is on that left side. He receives the puck, and then he cuts towards the middle. He holds it. He looks at it. He visions it. He shoots it. He snipes it. He scores it. It's a beautiful goal. Really, really solid release on Cole Caulfield for his, at the time, NCAA league-leading eighth goal on the year. However, in the Badgers' 4-2 loss against Penn State on November 1st, Caulfield didn't actually get a goal. In fact, somebody else got a goal that Habs fans would be familiar with. It's Jack Gorniak, another Montreal Canadiens draft pick. He got himself his first on the year, 10 minutes into the first period. However, Caulfield was held pointless in this game. At the moment, Cole Caulfield sits at 8 games played and 8 goals for 11 total points in the NCAA. A goal a game is awesome, it's not two goals a game like he was at the beginning, but still a goal a game for a freshman is awesome. Period. And it's so awesome that we really haven't seen freshmen actually put up numbers like this. In fact, it's hard to see NCAA players in general put up numbers like this so early on. However, there actually is somebody else who is also at eight goals in eight games. Behold, Northern Michigan University's Griffin Logran. This is an undrafted 20-year-old forward, 5'6", 146 pounds, who scored seven goals all year last year with the NCAA's Northern Michigan University Wildcats. He had seven goals in 35 games last year as a freshman, and now he's at eight goals in eight games, four assists, so he has 12 points. He is tied with Cole Caulfield for the league's lead in goals, and he's got more points too. In fact, the actual point race is quite out of reach right now. Jack Duggan, Tice Thompson, Callahan Burke are all on top of their game. Cole Caulfield is down there tied for 10th in the league in points. However, he's tied for first in goals. The competition is getting a little bit tighter. Obviously, this new guy that's come into the frame, Logran, he's smaller than Caulfield, which is interesting to see. He's older than Caulfield, too. In fact, he's actually in his draft plus three year because he was born in November of 1998. And obviously it's not fair to compare guys who are completely different age ranges apart in terms of league scoring and all that, but the fact of the matter is Cole Caulfield is still first in the nation, technically speaking, but he has competition now for that title. Griffin Logran got a hat trick a few days ago for the Wildcats, and he's on a really good goal scoring streak. He's scored in the past four or five games or something like that. So he's really been putting it up. Cole Caulfield's hot start has kind of died down a little bit, but he's still leading the league in goals, and he's in a tie with this new guy. So we'll take a look at how things go on as the season progresses, but for now, that's your weekly Cole Caulfield update. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video, social that's Ross 9.
and bye.